In this video, I show you how to download Microsoft Office. If you find this guide useful, please consider subscribing. And once you've done that, please consider leaving a like and let's get right into this guide. We'll guide you through how you can go and get Microsoft Office apps for free. And we'll also show you how you can go and download them as well. It's also a part of the same process, so we'll explain how. But you do have to pay to download them, which is something to consider. This video is completely legal and it follows Microsoft TOS as well. The first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser. In this case, I like to use Chrome, but you can use any you like, and then just go to a search engine. I'm using Google, but once again, you can use any you'd like as well. Then what you need to do is just go and search for Microsoft Office. So type it in just like this, and then go and search for it. What you need to do is make sure you go to the official website, which is office.com. Alternatively, you could just go straight there, but you know, it's easy just to Google it for me. And then here we are. The next thing I recommend doing is going and signing in or creating a Microsoft account if you don't already have one. As you can see, there is a get Microsoft 365 button there, but I like to just go and get an account ready first. So as I said, go and tap on sign in, even if you don't have an account or if you do, that's fine as well. Um, and then here we are. Then if what you want to do is go and enter your email, phone or Skype if you already have an account. If you don't, you can then go and tap on create one just below it here. Once you've signed in or created an account, you'll then be taken to this page here and it's going to go and say welcome to Microsoft 365. And as you can see, you've got document, presentation, workbook and even more. And on the left hand side as well, you've also got these apps. This is because Microsoft 365 is actually free to go and use online. So if you wanted to go and create a Word document and literally tap here and Word is going to go and open up. You can also go and tap on the apps on the left hand side and go and tap on Word, for example. And then it's going to go and take you here and you can go and tap on new blank document or use a template and you can go and get started. It's that easy. However, I want to go and show you how you can go and download it on your computer and download the apps. And to do that, you'll either need to go and purchase a subscription or already have a license code. So go over to the right hand side and going to tap on buy Microsoft 365 like so. Also, you may already have a paid Microsoft account as well for your school or your work or something like that. And so therefore you can just go and download it without paying anything extra. But in this case, I didn't have one, which is why I was telling people to go and subscribe. And as you can see, we've got a few different options here. In this case, I'll probably get a personal one, which is six pounds a month, but it's gonna be different uh, in your exchange rate. And then you can tap buy now, and you'll need to go and sign in again. And then what you'll need to do is go and subscribe. So tap next, and you can then go and choose your payment method, whether that be a credit card, PayPal, or a mobile phone. After you subscribe, you'll then be taken to a page that says get started with Microsoft 365. And all you need to do is scroll down and go and tap on download desktop apps, or you can get the mobile apps as well. And then what's gonna happen is, is that you'll need to go and download Office Office. It's really easy. Just press install office. It'll get a pop-up and you can choose some settings and then just tap install at the bottom and then it's going to start downloading. Then what you need to do is go and find it in your downloads folder and go and run it. Um, you'll get a Windows security pop-up and then Microsoft is going to start downloading. And as you can see, you're getting all these apps, Microsoft, Excel, PowerPoint, Outlook, all of these are going to be installed on your system. And once it's finished, you can then just go and search your computer for them and they're going to pop up and you can go and use them. If you guys found this video useful, please consider leaving a like. Peace.